In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth was without form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep, and the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be light, and there was light. <laughs> and God saw the light and said it was good, and God divided the light from the darkness, and God called the light day, and darkness he called night, and the evening and the morning were the first day. Today, this day, is the day that the Lord has made. Let us be glad and rejoice in it. The first day of creation, God created all of creation in just six days, making even the atomic structure put together in the very beginning. The darkness was on the face of the deep, it was null and void, without form. And God began to bring together all the molecules, or first he created the molecules because he created them out of nothing. And then he bring the, brought the molecules in those six days together in compound structures. And thus we have the creation we have today, just as he, as he said, let there be light. And we see the light poking through there in the trees. Sun coming up this morning declaring this day to be day. Of course, when that sun goes down, it's night. That's how God created it. It's been going on for thousands of years. And here we are to enjoy the beauty of God's creation each and every day. And I think that that's the, the important thing. Now, it's interesting. You listen to philosophers, creation or not creationists but but evolutionists and, and they'll inevitably say something about and they'll call it the creation or they'll call something well that man you know we were created in such a way and you're going well wait a minute i thought you were an evolutionist and yet how can you get away from just the common language the creation and of course that points to the fact there has to be a creator and God did indeed create everything as we know it. Even the bodies that we live in, the ground that we walk on, the sky that has that beautiful shades of blue and, and color as the sun hits through the clouds. So much beauty and so much, well, all of it is science. It's all mathematical. It's all chemical, electronic, amazing. The cosmos, the moon, the stars, the planets, everything is in perfect balance. In fact, if you just study what would happen if the earth was slightly a different angle on its axis, or it was a slightly greater distance from the moon or a slightly greater distance or closer distance from the sun, there absolutely could be no life on this planet. <laughs> wow, it, it sounds as though somebody knew what they were doing. And the Bible also claims that we, you and I, are fearfully, fearfully and wonderfully made. God has his hand upon our lives and, and his greatest joy is that we would come to him and call him father that we would surrender our lives unto him that we would quit trying to figure things out or make things happen or produce this or that and not that we obviously can't produce or make things or create things or try to figure things out but the point is the answers are in the word of god the answer is in our Father who made everything. And he wants you and I to come to him, surrender our lives, and call him Father. And he will gather us up under his wings as little chicks, as Jesus said. He wants to. But the thing that keeps us away from the Lord, the creator of all things, the thing that causes us to not be in touch with him as well as we could or should is our own pride. And it's our own pride that wears us out. It's our own pride that takes us on tracks in life 
that are vain and empty. And at the end of our lives, we, oh, we have maybe lots of toys. We have this or that, but we're still empty. All you have to do is a study of, of those great wealthy men of old that, you know, I think of one that said that he would give half his wealth if he could just have a marriage that worked. <laughs> and how sad, how sad to miss what God had purposed in your life and mine just to try to irk out some sort of existence on our own. Nothing wrong with seeking, nothing wrong with searching, nothing wrong with discovering, but let me save you a whole lot of trouble by seeking first the Lord, seeking first the Lord and his righteousness and his kingdom, and all these things will be added unto you. Some of the greatest scientists, some of the greatest philosophers, some of the greatest adventurers were men that believed in the living God and had done great things. Like we could name tons of them. One, the one that comes off to my mind right now is Louis Pasteur, for example, and Werner von, ba von Braun, and, 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 man, and so many scientists that were believers. Even Einstein knew that God doesn't just throw dice. <laughs> Everything is calculated to the fraction Think of our DNA and how we're made up. Scientists are, are now discovering and looking at that and seeing how they can alter those things. But the fact is the DNA is the DNA. They, they didn't create the DNA. They can maybe alter it just like you can alter, you know, you take a shovel, I can alter that ground a little bit. But what's my one shovel compared to Almighty God <laughs> who created everything from, from the minute DNA to the cosmos, the solar system. Yes, there is a God. And he has created you for his purposes and where our greatest joy, our greatest happiness and excitement is, is when we come to know him and realize his plan in our lives. And his first plan, of course, is sending his son, Jesus Christ, to save you and I from our sins. Jesus Christ died for your sins. He rose again from the dead to pay for your sins. And that whoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. As many as received him, Jesus, to them he gave the power to become children of God. That's what your greatest joy and happiness is gonna be. In knowing your, your creator, intimately as a heavenly father and you can do that by surrendering your life to jesus christ asking him into your life today to be your lord and savior to forgive you of your sins to turn from your way and to turn unto him and you will have eternal life and everything else in this world will become a whole lot clearer a whole lot more brighter and a whole lot more beautiful god bless you today as you worship Jesus, amen.